Hi boys and girls, happy Thursday. This week we are continuing to discuss the difference between fiction and nonfiction. Now remember, fiction is a story. And we've read two stories this week, Apple Trouble and The Biggest Apple Ever. Nonfiction is not a story. It is true information about a real person, a real place, or a real thing. In this case, we read the book Apples, and this book taught us real information about different types of apples that are grown around the United States. So we decided it's nonfiction. Today, we're gonna read a book called Johnny Appleseed. And as we're reading, I want you to think, does this book belong in the fiction category, like The Biggest Apple Ever and Apple Trouble? Or is it nonfiction? Is it about a real person, real place, or real thing? Johnny Appleseed. This is a story about Johnny Appleseed. With a name like that, you would think he was make-believe. But Johnny Appleseed was a real person who lived more than 200 years ago. It was a sunny fall day in Massachusetts when a boy named Johnny Chapman was born. The baby had cheeks as red and round as apples. Johnny's big sister, Elizabeth, was happy to have a little brother. The children played together with whatever they could find. And the sun shone, and the rain fell, and little Johnny played, and all was well. Johnny's family got bigger. Johnny and his sister were joined by 10 younger stepbrothers and stepsisters. What a busy, noisy house. Johnny would go outdoors when he needed quiet time. Sometimes he'd walk along the river. The squishy mud felt good under his feet. Other times he would sit under a tree and read. Johnny would watch the animals in the wild, the foxes playing in the meadows, the deer dashing through the woods, and the birds soaring high in the wide blue sky. If he found an injured animal, Johnny would take care of it until the creature was well. Johnny liked being outside. When he got older, he went to work in the apple orchards just like his great, great, great grandfather long before him. And the sun shone and the rain fell and Johnny grew up and all was well. Johnny learned everything about growing apples. He was happy planting seeds. taking care of the trees, and munching on the delicious fruit. Lots of people were moving out west back then. When Johnny was all grown up, he decided to go west too. He didn't bring much with him. For a hat, he used his pot, and a burlap sack did fine for a shirt. And shoes? Well, why wear shoes when you have two perfectly good feet? Johnny traveled the countryside. The sun kept him warm by day. 
The stars made a roof over his head at night. The rain washed him clean, and the animals kept him company. Sometimes Johnny would stop and plant apple seeds. As soon as seedlings grew, he'd sell the small plants to families moving west. When they got to where they were going, the families planted Johnny's seedlings and grew trees of their own. Johnny was friends with everyone. Wherever he went, he'd bring seedlings, pitch in with chores, and share stories of his adventures. The seasons passed. Every fall, Johnny gathered seeds from ripe apples. Every spring, he planted the seeds and passed the seedlings to settlers. He planted so many apple seeds that before long, people started calling him Johnny Appleseed. And the sun shone and the rain fell and trees filled the land and all was well. Year after year, Johnny tended his orchards, visited friends and family, and slept under the stars. Because of him, people always had fresh fruit to eat. Because of him, the land grew more beautiful. Johnny Appleseed left behind thousands and thousands of apple trees all across America. Just think, the next apple you eat may be from an orchard that was first planted by Johnny Appleseed. And the sun shone and the rain fell and Johnny's story lives on and all is well. The end. Now, boys and girls, let's talk about whether this book would be fiction, like the other stories we've read this week, or if it would be nonfiction, like our book, Apples. Now, first, you have to ask yourself, was this book a story, or was this book real information about a real person, real place, or real thing? Boys and girls, this book was about a real person, Johnny Appleseed. So this book was not a story. This was about Johnny Appleseed's life, and he's a real person. Did this book have characters that talk to one another? No, this book did not have characters. In this book, we had information, real information about Johnny Appleseed, his family, and people that he met along his journey. Did this book have a setting, a problem, or a solution? No, it did not. Again, it had real information. So, boys and girls, Johnny Appleseed goes in the nonfiction category with apples. I hope that you enjoyed the lesson that you got today on nonfiction and Johnny Appleseed. See you guys later.